Hello, it's Danielle with Pampered Chef. Welcome to my house. Today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about stoneware. Um, I love Pampered Chef stoneware. All of our stoneware comes with a three year warranty for manufacturer defect. So sometimes in shipping there may be a little hairline fracture that doesn't show up until you have it in the oven and then all of a sudden you'll hear a pop. So in that case they will replace it. So, and you don't need to keep track of your receipts. Pamper Chef keeps track of everybody's receipts according to their email address. So that's really nice to know. Um, so stoneware, when you first get them, they're kind of like a little bit sandy feeling um, when you first buy them. Like this is a brand new piece. And on the inside, it feels a little sandy or gritty. And then as you start the seasoning process, the stoneware starts to get a little discolored and it starts the seasoning. So you will start to cook things that are high in fats for the first few uses um, or just put some olive oil on your hand and, and spread it on before you use it. But cook things like peanut butter cookies or crescent rolls or um, ground beef, whatever has a little bit of high in fat on them. So you'll start the seasoning process. So this is the personal size pizza stone. And um, this one's great, for, obviously, for little pizzas, but you can also use this just to heat about anything up. So if you go out to Red Lobster and bring home fried shrimp, you can put it on here, it'll crisp it back up nicely instead of um, it comes out mushy when you try to reheat it on regular um, pieces. So love this. You can do grilled cheese sandwiches, you can do fish sticks, chicken nuggets, pork chops, anything that will fit on this pan. And you always want to cover 80% of the pan before you use it before you cook on it. So this one is um, started the seasoning process. And then I have my large round stone with handles. And this one is beautiful aesthetically. It looks so nice to go from the oven to the table. And I've started the seasoning process on this one. And um, this one's great because it has a little bit of a lip going around. So anything that has um, any kind of juices is not gonna fall off the sides. So I can do the big sheet cookies, the cookie cakes on here. I can do fish sticks, chicken nuggets, pork chops, chicken cutlets, um, biscuits. My biscuits will not be burnt on the bottom and undercooked on the top. They'll cook evenly all around. Um, cookies, anything that you cook on a sheet pan or in the oven, will come out better on stoneware. So my encouragement to you is to change something in your kitchen, um, take out one of your aluminum pans and buy a piece of stoneware. You will be so glad you did because everything cooks better on stoneware. It maintains the heat for longer periods of time without continually to cook the piece. This is my large round stone with handles. And as you can see, this one is really, really well loved. Um, I've had this one for a couple of years, and as you can see, it really has a nice coating on the pan. So never ever have to add any oil to when I'm cooking. Um, so it's a healthier way to cook. And um, nothing sticks to the pan. So love this. This one is a little bit different than the other one I just showed you because there's no lip on this one. This is my microwave egg cooker. It is not a booby holder. It's a microwave egg cooker. Love this. You can do um, scrambled eggs, fried eggs, poached eggs. It comes out amazing in the microwave. So this side I could do some scrambled eggs and this side I might could do some uh, pancakes or maybe even some brownie bowls in here. But I can do scrambled eggs and maybe I'll um, chop up, dice some onions and maybe ham and cheese and put that in there with it. And about a minute and a half, minute, 10 seconds to a minute and a half comes out perfect scrambled eggs. Love it. This is our ridged baker, and this one you can do four to five pieces of bacon in the microwave in about four minutes. Um, I also use this for meatloaf. Um, I can do like little new potatoes, appetizer, cut them in half, put some cheese and, and bacon in the, in the center, scoop out the center, come out delicious. Um, this is my pie dish, and like I said before, this is a brand new piece, so I haven't used this one yet because we just came out with this view. Beautiful, I can't speak, um, new color with the gray. We're right on trend with this new color choice and I love it. But I use the pie dishes that Pampered Chef sells because my pie crust, I make my own homemade pie crust and my pie crust just comes out so much better on the stoneware. Just fantastic, amazing pieces. This one over here is my deep covered baker. And um, we had the, the cranberry deep covered baker before. This is the gray deep covered baker. And um, again, beautiful new color choice. 
but look at the handle. The handle is new. It's a much lighter piece, and this is brand new, so you can see there's no seasoning process sort of on this one. But it's much lighter, and it has the, more of a handle on the side, which I really enjoy. So this one, I do chicken, a whole chicken dinner in the microwave in 30 minutes, and it is the most succulent, juicy, moist, delicious chicken you've ever had. I just rub some olive oil and some seasoning on it. I'm very generous with the seasoning and then in the microwave for 30 minutes. If I want to add potatoes and onions around the edge of the chicken, I add another five minutes to the cook time. I do barbecue pork sandwiches, a whole pork tenderloin in here, some uh, olive oil, smoky barbecue rub, and in 10 minutes, uh, my pork is done. I can slice it real nice and thin, put them on Hawaiian sweet rolls, and in 10 minutes, I've got barbecue pork sandwiches. Chicken bruschetta pasta in 15 minutes, um, Mexican chicken lasagna in 14 minutes, loaded baked potato chowder in 20 minutes, white chicken chili in 15 minutes. I have about 150 recipes in a PDF file specifically for the deep cover baker. I have them just for the round stone. I have them for our 12 inch skillet. I have them for lots of our different things and it's on a tiny URL. So I'll give that to you. It's tinyurl.com forward slash Danielle's recipe box. No apostrophes and no capitals. But you can just click on there and get a whole bunch of PDF recipes for free from me. These are our um, baking pieces. And this is the, the small baker. And it's just so beautiful to look at. But I'm telling you what, your foods will come out so much better when you cook them on stoneware. It just cooks everything more evenly. So you will not have overdone edges and underdone centers. Everything cooks even throughout the pan and it will maintain the temperature for longer periods without continuing to cook them. So that's the medium one. And then this is our shallow baker. And this one's like the same size as our large um, bar pan, which I'll show you in a minute that I have in my oven. It's the same capacity, except it's just more aesthetically pleasing to the eye, like I mentioned before. Um, talking about my round covered baker, this is our All the Best Cookbook from Pampered Chef. And this one has some great rings, wreaths, and braids recipes for the large round stone. I've also made them on the large bar pan. It doesn't really matter that it's a different shape. It comes out a little bit more of an oval than a, than a circle, but it's fine. Um, but they give you the directions on how to make the ring, wreath, and the braid. And then they also give you a whole bunch of different fillings for this. But I will post those recipes for you as well on my VIP group page on Facebook. Um, it's Danielle with Pampered Chef, if you'd like to join. These are some more of our new pieces. This is our stoneware glazed bowl. Um, and just look how beautiful it is. So this one you can bake with, you can put in the oven, and you can put to the table. It's just a beautiful piece, even just to put a salad in and put on the table. These are our entertaining pink platters. And these, again, are oven safe. You can bake right on them, and they're dishwasher safe because they are glazed on the inside and the outside. So right from the oven to the table to the dishwasher. Absolutely love them. Um, right now I have my, my large bar pans in the oven with some wedged potatoes. So my son is going to carry the camera with him and uh, follow me into the kitchen so I, I can show you guys. I really don't want you doing that, Max. Thanks. Sorry. Yeah. And so, here are my two large bar pans in my oven with some wedged potatoes. And as you can see, they fit really nicely side by side in the oven. But these have the really nice seasoning process going on them. And um, the potatoes just cook perfectly every time. And I like how they both fit in the oven side by side. That is my video for today. I thank you, thank you, thank you so much for spending time on my YouTube page. Don't forget to go on to my Facebook group and ask to be added. And I look forward to seeing you in my kitchen next time. Have a great day.